It has been over three months since we've read Jojo, uh, Jojo Lands. I'm sorry, you said yes. Jojo Leon. And, mm-hmm. you know, we're not going to do every chapter on, on recording, we say, as we lie every week. But we're... <laughs> We're not going to do yeah. every chapter live, but we are probably going to end up doing it. It's just every so time. fun this way. It's fucking it funny. Fun. So, uh, <laughs> Joe. I'm Usagi again. <laughs> you're, you're the best Usagi. It's been a while. <laughs> Joe, why don't you yes. give us a quick refresher on what's been happening last time on JoJo Lands? So, the gang successfully escaped Kishibe Rohan's uh, vacation house. They ran to a group of cats that attacked them with a stand. Um,. But they were able to uh, defeat this, defeat the cats in their stand by ramming a car into a tree and having Usagi's ability to duplicate caviar hamburgers to lure the cats out to trap them in a net. Uh, basically, using the the oh they it, they use the power of the of the lava rock to bring out the caviar, yeah. which is expensive, so it brought them. The food out, which lured the cats over, which caused the cats to get trapped. Something um, something up to that effect, yes. Yeah, to that effect. Uh, so they went back to town. They sat down. Uh, they have about two hours to kill until their plane takes off, which is an important note. They have to catch a plane to get back to the oh big island. Oh, my God. Run Good on, note. Run clock. Good note. And they're fucking uh, around currently. And they're fucking around. Um, so, but they decided, like, hey, we think the rock brings wealth to it. So let's see if we can just, you know, what if we walked into a uh, nice department store with some, uh, you know, very expensive items, and if they happen to end up in our pockets, then uh, that's what Whoopsies, happens, right? Whoopsie, tee Whoopsie, tee um, So Dragona and Usagi went inside while, uh, oh god, what's his name? Joe Dio. Joe Dio and Paco, and Paco stayed outside. Paco stayed outside and got some canes. Uh, so... Uh, Paco, not Paco, Dragona and Usagi went, fucked around a little bit and eventually got into a nice little meeting room with the manager of the store. Who is cooking them, yeah. Yes. They were looking at at some nice watches until one of the watches went missing and they don't know where it went. And now they're being uh, accused of stealing the watch. Meanwhile, outside, Paco comes back and he finds that his cane's chicken has been replaced with the severed heads of the cats they just defeated. Um, and so now they think they're under a stand attack. Yeah. Most normal JoJo meal of all time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's worse things they could have found on that bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I suppose. Ara- yes. Araki's back on his uh, animal mutilation shit. He skipped out on JoJo, JoJo Leon, so he's, he's back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. With, with that said, why don't we jump into it? Because we do have quite a few chapters to go, so let's, yeah. let's keep a good pace. Bradley, I believe you are the narrator. You, because the j- narrator is Jodio, so Bradley's the narrator. He's also the okay. guy in the store. Yes. 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 He, is. he is. All right. Because I, I was going to be talking to myself the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. We Different. were like, we should not, because it was originally. Um, did yeah. you get the good translations, Joe? Did you double check? Before this is the one that we usually get. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He know whatever. He know Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Also, what a chapter name. Yes, uh, Jojo Lance, Chapter 9, The Owner of the Lava Rock. The Missing Luxury Rock. The Missing Luxury Watch, its location, only the Lava Rock knows. Okay. Uh, who the fuck is this? I, I think that's Mom. That's Mom. Oh my god, it's been a while. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen Mom since, like, Chapter 1. Alright. Yeah. I, I, or I, ever. We, we did, at the start. Um, okay. Uh, Jodio likes the fact that him being in the life of crime gives his mom perks. If you remember, true. he says in true, the, true, in true, the start. I'll start true. with her, I guess. I tried calling Dragona, but he didn't pick up. Oh, he! We finally fucking got a pronoun for Dragona. Okay. Let's go. It's been it. nine chapters. So I went ahead yeah. and got on the, the bus. Where are t- where are you two right now? I was just going. Okay. And Jodio answers, yeah. I told you. I did tell you this morning, didn't I, Mom? We're going to the island of Hawaii today. We're there right now. Just hanging out. Big bro's, uh... His cell phone's on airplane mode. Yeah, must be. <laughs> He's off shopping. We're waiting around for our flight home. <laughs> yes, because the president's on air- hey, airplane mode. Before hey, the you two aren't hanging around that Paco Luberantes, oh, okay. are you? You know he's the type of uh, to browbeat kids he has power over. I don't want you hanging around him. He was definitely in jail or something like that for a year. I'm pretty sure. That's the rumor I heard anyway. Uh? What do we want to eat for dinner tonight? That's what you're calling about? 
Oh, that's that's mom. Oh, that's mom. Okay. Yeah. But keep going. What do you, oh, what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? That's where you're, okay. Uh, that's Jodio. Then, I'm busy right now. Just pick whatever you want, mom. But Jodio, I don't know what to pick. Fine. How about chicken burritos? Astragona for me, okay? <laughs> like a burrito sounds pretty good. Okay. He already had yeah. chicken though. Yeah, meanwhile, the menacing canes bag. Menacing. Who wasn't Jodio? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Got it, Mom. That's fine. It's okay. We'll be home by dinner, dinner time. Okay, I gotta go. I'll let Big Bro know. Jodio, which one of these folks did you get it from? Referring to the bag. Which one handed you that package to you? The canes. <laughs> and then I don't know if this is Jodio. It's probably Jodio. That's Paco. All right. Yeah, no, probably Jodio. Keep going. Sorry. It, it couldn't have been that clerk at the counter. He's not close enough. Actually, I don't think there's any point in looking. You could definitely just pay off some rando to hand somebody a bag. This sort of move, Jodio, it's like something a mafia would do. The mafia? No, it's the move somebody even lower than that. They're making a threat here, indicating their personal code to us. They're making it clear that they have no interest in societal values by showing that despite being the cat's owner, they don't have the <laughs> least bit of love for them. All right. Okay. God damn it! They were watching us the whole time, weren't they? Yeah, that's what it looks like, especially for Rohan Sensei. He loves Rohan. <laughs> he sure does. Yeah. They were probably keeping an eye on him since before uh, since before he came to that Hawaii villa. For that lava rock? You think that lava rock belonged to this person to begin with? Mm. The lava rock. Now that you mention it, there was a map on that iPad next to the pool. I just glanced at it real quick and didn't think much about it. But yeah, there definitely was a map. It was a map of some sort of mountainous terrain here on Hawaii, and it had a mark on it. The place it had marked, there's got to be an origin for these lava rocks. Maybe that location mm. was an important place. Hey, what do we do here, Jodio? This is messed up. Yeah, oh, we need... Wait. Oh, sh oh, is that a... That's Usagi. Oh, on the inside. Yeah, I think so. What? No. Right? No, no, that's Jodio. It's just pointing at Usagi's head, it's, so it's okay. using me. I mean, Dragona's there. He's referring to them, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to call those two back out of the store. No, not that. I'm talking about this warning. If we don't give the person back the lava rock, we're done for. Our job was just to steal the $6 million diamond rock. Diamond, right? Nothing else. As long as we bring that back, we're okay. That lava rock is just something we happen to get involved with along the way. Good point. It's too much for us to handle at this point. We should just give it back. You think so? Hey, Jodio! You know, Paco, you should really make up your mind. <laughs> there come times when if you don't make a clear choice one way or the other, you can't move forward. Uh, what? <laughs> what, indeed. <laughs> First, that lava rock. I don't know. I don't know, or I don't know where. But it was Rohan Sensei who found it. It never belonged to this person. That I'm sure of. Mm. Rohan Sensei was in the middle of investigating what the lava rock was. He didn't know when we had met him, he was still figuring it out. So this person was watching Rohan Sensei. And if they were watching, that means they also don't know anything about what the lava rock does. So it ain't their rock. They expect us <laughs> to give it back to them? Get real. Uh, and also, oh. I promised Rohan Sensei that if we couldn't get on that plane to Oahu then I'd crush that lava rock and throw it into the sea. Those words hold the same weight for them. I'm sure they don't want to lose it. Uh, they'll have to be careful if they want to try and mess with us. Man, hold on. Are you saying you're not going to give the lava rock to the o over? If we do, they'll take the diamond also. It's not like they just leave us alone after. So Jodio is making a lot of assumptions here that the person doesn't know how the rock works just because they're watching uh, Rohan. Yeah. But, you know. If this really is the Mafia, then you can bet they won't be leaving any witnesses. We wouldn't make it home. The position we're in right now, we're not just some mangy burglars or smugglers. We need to make up our minds about this, or we can't move forward. Paco. Or no, he says, Paco, you know this artist? <laughs> oh, and then it's our favorite. The boy. Uh, Kishibe Rohan did this. I don't know much about him myself, but this is hand-drawn with ink. So yeah, that's a box cutter, a ballpoint pen, 
my house keys, bug spray, sunglasses, gloves, and an antiviral mask. My phone, my driver's license, some caramel, a charm, and some eye drops. Uh, my plane ticket, my pocket tissues, a bottle of Court and Charlemagne white wine and a 2020 Batard Montrachet. I'm not a wine person. Wine? Hold on. What happened? Here? Wait. <laughs> did, did they flop to no they flopped to inside the building I think. yeah, yeah every, everything everything you were just saying i believe is the clerk going through their bag to make sure yeah, they didn't steal the watches oh. gotcha <laughs> okay yeah. there should have been a better transition there yeah yeah yeah. uh that was usagi got it usagi and that's all i got <laughs> that's all i got on me the wallet and diamond are mine <laughs> see we ain't got no watch and then he's good where did you hide it Seriously, where did it go? Did that wristwatch move? Like, it walked by itself? But also, <laughs> why was it only one of them? I touched all four of the luxury oh. watches to the touch, uh, to the lava rock. So why did only one of them disappear? Why are three of them still on the tray? I did the same right. thing to all of them. So then, what about that one? Was it different from all the right. other three? Theory. Okay. Quick theory before we move on. Well, yeah. The other three watches are fake. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. No, yeah, you're he, right. He might be even more suspicious of them then because he's like, how do these fuckers know? Know that, yeah, we, that's, that they got that's the, how they're gonna get the out of it. Yeah. Ooh, good the, call. That's how you, yeah. Yeah. really good call. Yeah. But like you, carefree brats, I have a responsibility to uphold when walking around this store. A responsibility to my family and to the company headquarters of New York. What did you two do? I'm going to notify the police. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, hold, hold on a second. We've got a small flight to catch soon. We whisper, didn't do whisper. anything. Whisper, whisper. whisper, whisper. Okay, so hold on. Uh, he, what, what's that in his hand in this panel? That's a phone. Okay, he's pull, oh, it's a very... Wow, that's a skinny-ass phone. That's I a know, phone, <laughs> and then he's got the watches in the other hand. That's the tray with the watches. Hey, on. can you even actually do that? We can tell the police you were illegally detaining us, you know. Yeah! Uh, I'm 18, Please. and he's 17. All we did was sit on the couch and drink some drinks. What were you going to say, Joe? <laughs> These two motherfuckers in love look like some Yakuza NPCs. They do. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that right? Uh, I, That was probably Usagi, but what do you think you're doing threatening us, threatening us like suspects with no human rights and locking us in here? Yeah, that's right. You guys are one you're the ones doing the crime and the watch being lost thing it's only you guys that are claiming that yeah we don't know shit about we're that we're probably reversing all these lines it's all good putting the phone away okay yeah all right fine let me say this as the person <laughs> responsible for this store i'll make you a promise the two of you are of course free to leave at any time but only after we've seen that there's nothing on that recording all right there are four cameras in this room alone. That includes one directly above the table. And the videos are all stored in the cloud. No matter what sort of trick you two pulled, you better cough up that watch post-haste, you shitty small-time crooks. Whoa. So is it so gonna copy a camera? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I, uh, kinda wanna see that myself. We're, we're in the set. But I gotta wonder what's going on there. I'll say they can't possibly refuse. Whisper, whisper, yeah. whisper. Pulling out the iPad. First, the door. It's not <laughs> locked. In fact, it's open right now. So you see this video from the camera above the table? Everyone is acting surprised at it, yes? That's because there are only three watches on the tray. Start playing the Phoenix Wright theme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the one, the other watch that was on the tray, where has it gone? So, no need to delay it any longer. Let's rewind the video and see just Ooh. how exactly it disappeared. I'm excited. What shenanigans are we going yeah, to see? Yeah, how is this going to happen? That's Stop! It. Right there. Your right hand is above the table. It's at this point the number of watches on the table goes back to four. <laughs> oh, what? There? What? There? <laughs> But the video does not show the moment the watch goes missing. Shopkeeper, your shoulders are creating a blind spot for the camera. That was, and he goes, uh, mm. that was Sergona, probably. Oh, you're right. You can't yeah. see a thing in this video. It doesn't show anything. Then shall we take a look at camera number two, the one above the door? <laughs> it has that scene recorded at an angle from the right. <gasps> Some Winston Payne nonsense. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. Dragona Tan. Oh, I see it. It's like in Dragona's uh, wrist. Oh, is it, is it yeah. Waking yeah, yeah. up the arm. Yeah. It, it's right here. It's in between the the wrist. Yeah. Is that where the rock is? No. No. And then we get to see a good close up of it. Huh? You're kidding. The watch? How? Went under my wrist? That's not how that goes. That can't. No. That can't be right. I don't know anything about this. Uh, oh god. Ooh, and the What's watch it? is currently in between his like thigh dragona thing, I think. I think that's where they that's put the Oh sorry, no, the, 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 the dragona boobies, yes. Yes. Ooh. Okay, it got it got drawn to the rock that was in the the chest cabinet oh. era. Smooth operators. operators. Oh. Her, oh his own stand grabbed the watch. Because smooth is operators is Dragonistan. Okay. Yeah. No way. How? How could the watch have gotten in my chest? How? It's in my pendant pocket along with the lava rock. Uh. You please move to that side of the room and step back. <laughs> the Dr Dr Dragonachan? It was. I see. When you were pretending to put one of the watches back on the tray, you used a technique where you hooked the watch band on the bracelet in order to pick it up and carry it away. Quite a well-planned malevolent act. Me? I hit it on the back of the pendant myself? But I don't have any memory of using smooth operators to do any of that. I don't remember using my stand at all. Uh, that was me? I moved it, so then that whole thing with the cup back at the Rohan estate, that was also something I did unconsciously. The cup at the Rohan estate. Mm. I don't recall. They, uh, they put the diamond in the cup at one point. Um, yeah, and something. then like it ended up in the backpack or something, or like... No, it, no, it didn't no. go out of... No, yeah, it didn't like... They closed the, the thing, the backpack, but yeah. it was outside the backpack after... Yeah. Uh, and and so then I, put so a, I think what happened. They put in a cup yeah. so they couldn't, like, leave because it never enclosed. And so what I think I what think. Dragona's positing is that, like, without them realizing Dragona removed it from the cup in that scene, and that's why it was, like, mysterious and they don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. moving on. So, next we need to know where you hid the luxury watch. We've already investigated all of your possessions, but we've yet to do a body check on you. It seems we'll need to check every last inch of your person. The band got caught in my bracelet, and it was pulled, and I pulled it towards me. Begin the examination. Yeah! Don't touch me! <laughs> my pendant has a dragon pattern, so it's a charm for me. Hey! Don't just start touching me like that. Dragona has been felt up two or three times. This, I know, this part. Yeah. Huh? What is this stone? Where's the watch? Why isn't it there? And don't ask me where it is. I don't know. Here's what happened. He's holding the stone. He grabbed the watch. And he doesn't realize mm. that he is in possession of the watch right now. That's kind of cool. Which is why yeah. maybe it's called the owner of the watch. Or the owner of the watch. Yeah, of the Lopper Rock, rather. Where's the watch? Hey, hey, hold on. Where did you hide it? Hey, folks. Just mm. but sorry to butt in, but uh, the, when you're in the middle of all this, shopkeeper... That thing you got caught in your shoelace there. Oh, shit. Ain't that the wristwatch you're looking for? Okay, yeah, we were spot on. Uh, it's on my... Uh, how did it How did it get my shoelaces? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just, <laughs> it's just scudding. It's just scudding through the ground. It's knocking into people's feet. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Be careful. It's just fucking... Yeah, it's just running away. It's spinning now. Don't do anything foolish. Just wait until it stops moving. Look, it's heading for the elevator. That's a $100,000 item. What the hell's going on here? Usagi, I'm not doing anything right now. Oh, oh. Customers, you have my sincerest, sincerest apologies. I dishonored you. I belittled you with my utterly baseless accusations. This was a complete blunder on my part. What I said and did were utterly shameful. <laughs> I was so rude to you, I don't know how I could ever begin to apologize. I love this guy. It, he's I, having a full breakdown. <laughs> I don't know how best to explain this, but you see this product, because of its top class quality, the band is somewhat slippery. I suppose it's too shiny, clean, and fresh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. That's you, Bradley. 
Now, don't yeah, kick it. Don't calm down. Don't do anything foolish. Um, <laughs> we're like flabbergasted the, over here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Focusing on the oh. rock. Uh, what, what do, do we, we do? What do we do? Should we just leave Dragona, John? Yeah, I guess that's what we do. Hmm. <laughs> it may take some time, but that silly spectacle of them chasing after it will keep going for a while. More customers will come, and eventually that watch may not even be here on the island of Hawaii. It will come back to this lava rock. That $100,000 watch will come back to me. I think a little... I think just a little I'm beginning to understand this lava rock. It had but unconsciously for me, and for the shopkeepers and the guards, too. But people's emotions and connections to these things are worth money. Oh. That, that are worth money are sure to come eventually come back. Interesting. Okay. So they weren't fake. It's just you like that watch more than the others. Ooh, that could be it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Dragona Chan? That shopping trip sure was fun. You know, with just you and me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. you, you it hitting on me, Usagi. Hold on. Let's talk themes here for a second, right? It, yeah. uh, people's emotions and connections that are that can be measured in money is an interesting idea. Like, yeah, um, yeah. Hmm. We'll we'll have to keep that in mind because that could be an interesting Sen thing if we keep using that is rock. true. Because think about it. Like, what what worth is Rohan Kishibe's like photo picture actually like it's just a picture but right? to a lot of people that's worth a lot like to, through emotional it, connection to his work right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. this is cool and for and for uh what's his name Jodia, who really likes Rohan it was really drawn to him as well if I remember correctly while I, we had the rock I'm getting a future site like we're gonna do stuff of like putting a literal money on things that we say have no price like yeah, priceless yeah. things i think this part is going to explore like how priceless is something to you actually mm -hmm. and i love it, it it could cook uh, that's, that's you bradley no that's usagi cherish that we should don't let go of it that's interesting it's probably we should cherish that don't let go we should of cherish it. that oh yeah uh, no i like my yoda interpretation better <laughs> cherish that you should uh <laughs> This, so uh, basically oh man we really gotta call back those two in the store especially with them having the lava rock on them they figured something out and we're gonna figure it we're gonna learn about it later maybe sorry i took so long i had to go a bit of a trek jodeo they said they sold out of the chicken burritos around noon wait so i went to the shop went to that shop over there what, what's wrong here why are we having this conversation now? Yeah, why is this motherfucker buying chicken burritos? Yeah, we yeah. Were, we were going to have chicken burritos for dinner today. Yeah, So why yeah. are we doing this now? Uh, so I went to the shop over there and uh, had them fry us up some of the uh, albalones that were raised in the deep sea. Albalone? Al abalones? Man, yeah. I really wanted to eat some of that chicken they raise high up in the mountains here in Hawaii. Raising, like, raising canes? canes? Maybe? <laughs> What oh. the fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. This is... <laughs> is this a is this a back from the past? Uh, jo uh, Paco no. that is bringing food from Canes. Uh, I think it's a stand that can mimic people. Jodio. Ah! <laughs> oh no. What the fuck is this? That's horrifying. That is kind of fucking horrifying. We're back to body horror. Let's go. Oh, the original Paco from this conversation was never Paco at all. Who the hell yeah. is that? I was trying to get info from him. Uh, I probably can't be the antagonist if Paco's going to be fighting him too. So one of you. No. You want to, you won't give the lava rock back even after I went and gave you a chance before you do too much. Oh shit. And Slice then... crackle. Yo, he got got. <laughs> Yo, a Rocky's favorite attack, the carteroid uh, gland in the, in the Oh, neck. and this this takes out Jodio, which puts Paco in the front to fight the stand now. Oh, we're in peak Jojo territory. This this brings us to the wrap of this chapter. This was a long one. Yeah, this was. It was a good one. It was fun. That nice, was fun. great great conclusion to our little mini-adventure. That was peak and... Jojo's, if yeah. you ask me. <laughs> uh, so... This guy has a stand. So at the start of the chapter, when when Jodio was like, "You got to make up your mind, Paco," yeah. that wasn't really yeah. Paco. So I think we're gonna find that yeah. Paco would have always been 
on the same uh, frame of mind as Jodeo yeah, about the situation. Yeah. It also probably Would moved this antagonist to like attack. Yeah. Make, make a move yeah. because yeah, Jodeo, no. Jodeo's like, I've already made it clear that if we don't get this rock, no one's getting it because I'm crushing yeah. it. That's, that's what he's saying here is that like he wanted to get the rock back and return it this this clone sand yeah um which was the plan basically was to be so afraid that like oh we'll give it back and we don't have to worry about it all right yeah, okay let's, sick we'll jump on to the next one because we talked about some of our interpretations of the oh banger Ooh, a banger of a page found uh found our thumbnail by the way whoa look at oh, jodeo's yeah. new hair color here he <laughs> he it's got the okay. double split yeah i like it uh, okay nice. why does why does why does dragona's hair thing look a little bit like Killer Queen. Where? Just with the, like, the spikes, the little bunny look to it. The green eye. Purple eye, I should say. Anyways. Also, this lava rock should not be green. That's not the color of lava rocks. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't, I, don't pick, I don't picture it as green. But we're in a color shift right here, so it can be... I do... So wait, this motherfucker is wearing fucking overalls and a t-shirt? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no! What is this? What? Oh, no, Jody is so lame! <laughs> is this our first good look? <laughs> It's the first like, time we've think... noticed, I think, or this might be yeah. an alternate outfit, but we just didn't notice that. Yeah, he has like a. <laughs> he's got. A belt he's got on overalls. His chest. Yeah. I need to get my boys in the lab looking at this. He does have a so belt like... on his chest. He's a Tekken character or something. So I do, I do like how we have this small heart, but then we have this kind of outline of a potential larger heart or something, or potentially like cords coming off of it. It's a heart too. with wings. Or a heart... okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But here they look, they've looked more angelic to me until here. Here they look kind of bad-ish. Yeah, it's so, like a bad Yeah. Thing. Interesting. Dark clouds hang over Hawaii. JoJo's Lands, uh, Chapter 10, The Hustle, Part Wait, 1. Wait, hold on. Whoa. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Phantom Blood, The Musical? Ayo! <laughs> it was oh, ideal! Two days ago. <laughs> Goodbye, JoJo! <laughs> Yo, banger spread. If Yo. you ignore warnings, all that awaits you is death. Ominous. Sick. Banger. Paco, looking at Paco. We're going to get confused who's voicing who when we... Uh, oh my god, it's going to... Well, sure. Paco... Bad Paco's got the, uh... Uh, the doctor from, uh... uh Wu, Wu Tomoki. Wu Tomoki, yeah, Wu Tomoki has no weakness, okay? Yeah. From part eight. <laughs> Uh, gets th murdered. <laughs> this is the first, uh, first or second JoJo main character dying of this part. I think, uh, I think Dragona was getting choked out, or Paco was getting choked True. out. True. Yeah, the other yeah, arc. yeah. Th this is a little more severe. I don't know if we have yeah. a heal. Oh, well, we do have a healer. It's gonna be smooth operators like doing plastic surgery. Whoa, it's turning invisible. Oh, and shit. oh, cool. We got some it's Metallica like... shit. Who, yeah. Who the hell are you? Slash, and. Block with a tray. Oh, because smooth. Uh, because the hustle is like grabbing yeah. it with his muscle. That's cool. Yeah, he can just make a shield. Yeah, well, there. Or he can grip a shield. Do the hustle. <laughs> Peek. <laughs> Peek. <laughs> Ora. Okay. Blah. Nice. And then, oh, Ooh. and then he's grabbing. Oh, dude, the hustle. The is, chair is like is like the kind of stand Araki does the best with, where it's really simple. Yeah. My muscles can grab ah, anything. Oh, uh, dude, are. chucking the, a punch into a chair? That's a sick one-two combo. Oh, he's going to be a great fighter. <laughs> was that a stand? That dirt-looking stuff floating around the, uh, his face. It has the same texture. It's real sand. And every bit of it is a rock fragment with different colors. Ooh, okay, cool look design. at this guy. Got, got the eye draw or the that little is. eye shadow thingy. Yeah. Well, goth boy. Who the hell are you? How long have you been following us? Was it before we even got to the Mangaka's villa? Uh, grabbing the knife, stanced up. Remember the basics of CQC? Yeah. So you're saying if we don't just surrender, the only path left is violence, huh? You sure about that, asshole? That just happens to be my area of expertise. If this is the lava rock you're uh, after, there's... I think this is that's me, me that's... Too. No, that is you. That is you. Yeah. I, 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 for some reason, I haven't realized that Paco also has, like, face markings. Yeah. I don't know it's why such... I just feel like. If it's the lava rock you're after, there's no way in hell we're handing that over. Oh. We're, du we're ducking, we're dodging, punch. Paco's got moves. Yeah, Paco's fucking good. He doesn't need to stand to fight. He can just fucking box. However, yeah. strike to his neck. 
We, we parry. We parry with a nice little karate hit, and then we grab the knife, and we hit him with a punch. Wait. We what are, the fuck is wait, happening Wait, what here? the? He's punching uh, his own uh, arm, which is... Oh, he's... Which is like sending a ripple of muscle deformation into the opponent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's so, actually rippling. So the hustle can be transferred to a It's Hamon. Come on. Yeah, it, like Hamon style. He's a pillar man and a Hamon user. Yeah, we're Yo, so bad. Now we're there. <laughs> so bad. <gasps> uh, what the heck is that with his neck? It feels so weird. This feels like that coarse sand, too. It's rough and gets all over. Uh-oh. How, how about I strangle you? There's the daggers in the clouds, or it's in the dust. Oh, of him, his, of his, his, body. Arm, his arm got shattered into dust, but the dust is turning back into an arm. Yeah. Okay, so he's kind he's of a, he, he's, he's like a sand logia in JoJo's. Like, yeah, yeah. And cool. going for the stab. Stabby what? Stab. Order! Punch him away. <laughs> what the hell is this dirt floating around him? The dirt fragments can amass together in a way that screws up my perception of how far they actually are. Okay. This guy fused okay. his left arm with the images of the clouds in the sky behind. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> uh, can we go back for a sec? He's a mirage. He's a mirage man. He's a mirage so, man. Whoa. Yeah, so he's he made his arm look like it's further away by reflecting light with the sand. Uh and made it look like the clouds. Kind of like how like if you would if you go out into the desert, like the heat rises off of sand and it makes that sure, shimmering sure. effect. And so it's harder to gauge where the slash right. is coming from. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's kind of reminding me of Metallica, because Metallica could use yeah. Uh, yeah, that's iron what I was fragments for. to yeah. like go invisible, so that's mm -hmm. really cool. Jodio, are you breathing? Wake up! Stick a bandaid on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a rough time, dude. <laughs> oh, but, what's going but on? But he now? did. But he did see the mirage strike earlier. Oh, it okay. It's all coming back. But I don't see what he. I don't get what he's seeing here in the top left. Oh. Wait, what? So that looks like a hand that's knocking Joe Dio's back. It looks like, like a hand him. that's stabbing him from behind. Like he's, he might have actually got stabbed from behind. Oh, because this looks like Joe front. Dio's shoulder plus his uh, hoodie. Up I, here. I thought it was. I think it's. I thought it was. He's using one hand to push Joe Dio forward into the knife to get slit. Oh, whoa! So okay. No, I think you're right. Yeah, because it looks like that arm is really stretching out. I guess we'll we'll go with that interpretation. Jodio, get next to me. He's coming. This guy's <laughs> bad news. You can be sure he's still somewhere around here. I can't see him, but he's here. <laughs> Jodio, maybe this is a weird question, but is this guy even human? No, he's got to be human, but his skin is kind of like sand. We got a rock, rock men. Let's go. We're back. We're so back. Oh, We're so man. back. All right. Well, Sorry. looks like all that worked out fine. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice one. Cheers. Yay. Man, where did Rohan get this yum? <laughs> what? Be sure, Be sure not to drink, sure not to drink until age 20. <laughs> but go to war. Ah, uh, yeah. Jodio, sorry we took so long. <laughs> Meanwhile. Wait. 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 This is not reality. <laughs> Like, yeah, but Jodio, wait, no. but Jodio ha does have a Band-Aid on him. I think this is an illusion still, but let's see. It's gotta be. It only worked for one of the luxury watches, but for some reason, for some reason. But I'm sure it's going to make its way back to us eventually. Even though we did, with, even though what we did with the Lava Rock felt kind of illegal. The chances of us getting arrested were our zero... But come back to, through events totally unrelated to us, like due to somebody else's greed or something, it moves things with, worth money through the means of people's feelings. This lava rock's freaking amazing! You can bet we won't lose that diamond either. Hey, uh, I you think guys. These are, I think these are real people. They've just yeah. got back. <laughs> hey, you guys, shut it! Quit running your mouths, he's gonna strike at any second! Dragona, we're under attack right now. 
this enemy is somebody who knows even more than us about the lava rock. Okay, so Jojo was just super wrong last chapter. Yeah. Uh huh. I really like. I, I'll point out, uh, Araki that does have a f same face issues, like in part eight, late part seven, early part yeah. eight. But I, I like how the faces are pretty yeah. distinct here. Mm -hmm. the, the mafia that's what the guy said when he transformed himself to look like paco jodeo i don't think this guy's the mafia which makes sense why would he give himself away he was just yeah. blowing smoke to try to scare us back into a corner if he was a real mafioso or a pro knife user you wouldn't have gotten away with just your that graze on your neck his knife skills ain't up to snuff not for an assassin anyhow but still but that guy's body there's something nutty going on with it he fused his form with the freaking clouds I couldn't tell the difference between him and the clouds that were kilometers away. It should oh. it should be a stand ability, but I don't know how to describe it. This guy, this enemy, what's his deal? Are we going to be able to make it to the plane and get home? Uh, that was probably Jodio. Of course, we're going to eliminate him. I'd rather not have to stay overnight in, on Hawaii. Thank you very much. Oh, oh dear. dear. This is just so lovely. Thank you. This is so nice of you. Oh, I just love it, Leo Coon. It's made even more dazzling than usual. That watch really fits your glistening skin perfectly, doesn't it? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Those two came out with the watch shop. Ah! No way! Oh, they got the watch. Please don't blind me, my dazzling angel from the heavens. Oh dear, please keep going. I love that. What the hell? She's got the watch on her wrist. No way! That woman had to had that man buy it for her. Hold on, Jagonachan. Don't think of it like that. Think of it as the watch moving from inside the store to outside. It didn't get kicked out of, it, of the place or anything, right? So it looks like it's coming back to you already. That sure didn't take long. Usagi's so fucking smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Uh, oh! <laughs> this fucking... <laughs> Fucking tingle ass motherfucker. <laughs> so he's, he's actually so big, right? Oh, yeah, it happened due to the causes unrelated to us. It came out of the store due to the feelings, right? Great, I'm so excited. <laughs> They're like, yeah, our, our half of those stories. Yeah, <laughs> we, we finished our mission, anyways. Hmm. Guys, let's go back to the car. We're at a disadvantage in an open place like this. He's got to come at us with some sort of trick. Mm, that might be a good idea. Let's get back to the car floor. Being behind the closed doors, being behind the closed doors of a, of the car might be a good defense against that guy. We'll lure him to the car and do him in. Hey, hey. would you put some sunscreen on me? If I put it on myself, I'd get it off my new watch. I'd be glad to. That woman, <laughs> she just took the watch off her wrist and put it on the table. Hey, are those people for real? They stuck they stuck it on top of a napkin that's got food scraps on from french fries and some orange sauce they wiped off of their mouth. Who does that with an $80,000 watch? You see in this? Oh, Dakota Chad. Come on, let's get to the car. Don't worry about it. The watch is going to be fine. No need to stand here and watch it. <laughs> it's just on top of its long journey. One stop and its long journey to eventually come back to us, you know? But... Yeah, but there's something, there's, but the defilement to consider of the watch, I mean, I can't stand the idea of that floozy woman getting bits of food on her, and her grubby fingerprints all over it. Dragona. Dr Dragona, don't... don't stray away from us, or Bobby Jodia, yeah, let's go. Watch, birds, 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 sunscreen, sexual tension. Well, there's, oh, okay. Yeah, there's they're a... just, they're just pecking around the watch. The oh, food's... and. Oh, and now they're, these birds are gathering around eating the See, food but what's clever around. about this, the food scraps that you're going to, uh, like, bitching about is going to be what gets the birds to the watch, which is what going to yeah. get the watch to them. It's it's It just works so well. The birds. You're kidding, right? <laughs> ah! Yep. They they took it. What? Wait, this guy is like Joshu grown up. Yeah. What? <laughs> this is time skip Joshu. <laughs> Hey. Oh man, that'd be so fucking funny. Hey, uh, Usagi! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, hey! Look over there! Oh, looking, oh, looking, oh. looking, looking. Flat, flat, flat. Hey, that bird has it! It's coming this way, guys. I knew it would end up coming back to me. The watch, it's back. 
Look, it's coming this way. I got bad feeling I about have, this. This watch is an illusion. <laughs> they noticed it. Yes, it's happening already. It's headed back to where the lava rock is. Oh, God. Here, oh, birdie, God. birdie, birdie. Wait, Dragona. Wait. Some, there's something not right. Hold on. Don't touch the watch. Ah! Oh, no. No way. She's wearing the watch. Mm, it was never off. What? This is so crazy to look at. He's got his hand, like he's walking around with his hand. He's part of a bird. Watch. He's yeah. Like, he, like, he, he was probably on the table with his hand on the table. And then he just yes. started walking around with his hand up. Like the birds. Like the birds. And this, yeah. le he looks so cool here in this left panel. Yeah, like Yo. this is the panel that like is letting me visualize the stand better. Like yeah. he could have yeah. his, he could have his hand right in front of your face, but if he makes his hand look like something that's a hundred feet away, it's gonna look like you're yeah. looking at a thing hundred feet away. Yeah, like he that's could cool. he could control the size of it to to pretend the, the the depth perception is further away. Yeah. Wow. Cool. And he's got it. Or oh, guy. shit. Oh, shit! Just stabbed oh. right through Dragoona's neck. Oh, my God. Yeah, just, just clean through. This is sick. Dead. And dead. Dragona? <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, this is a good fight. Dragoona! Uh... Holy shit. Jodeo, worried for his brother. Uh, damn it, don't let him get away. What? Oh, this is uh, November rain. November. November oh. rain. Oh, dude, this is like an angry November. But look how much range it's covering. Oh, yeah, just like, just cake the, the entire storm. area. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this month we're going away. Don't I like how we can see the barrier here in this right panel. Yeah, this is like, like, the art in this chapter has been phenomenal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's crushing. Like, I forgot. It's we, crushing him. We still don't fully know how November rain works. I think it's like heavy rain that you can control, like, how heavy it is yeah. and what location but it also like made that dude's face melt so you can also transfer things but yeah. here it just looks like he heavy can... raindrops i think he can like choose like what gets affected by the rain yeah. and this one he's just like fucking everything because i don't know where he uh, is oh and then when he was like disfiguring that guy he's like just your eyeballs or whatever are getting heavy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that oh dude november rain looks so sick oh look how mad jodeo looks dude he is mm. the... this is bad Hurry, smooth operators. Slide it and pull it outside. Uh, oh. Slide, just slide the wound out. That's It's that easy. Near lethal damage. The emergency operator be begins. Operation yep. begins. It looks okay. like they're doing, like, stitching on, on it. Wow. Yeah. Imagine if, if we've read this the month of, we'd be like, wow. Oh, we, we, that, we took the right amount of break. Rocky was looking out for our schedules. Yeah. Uh, that was a great chapter. Ooh. I don't know if we got much to say aside from, like, this is a good fucking fight so far. It's thick. I like yeah. this guy. That panel I'm... of the guy on the on the counter and, like, showing and being the bird. Yeah. That, yeah, looks that is so sick. cool. But then also, like, just this page is just so well painted. Uh, yeah. And so is this one. And, th like, this is just, like, five, oh, go back. five back, back to, to where back. she's, like, falling. Okay. Like, he... he just immediately, like, disappears. Like, you just see the arc of, like, yeah. blade coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just see, like, kind of the crumbs of, of like, his body. Yeah. So, Paco has led us to believe that this is a rock human ability, which are, like, almost stand-like in nature. Like, Wu Tomoki's stand is also, like, his rock human body. Yeah. That's the thing, because Paco was like, this is almost like a stand ability, but he's like, it's it's almost like it's just his body. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he mentioned multicolored rocks. I think what happens is he uses different colored sand sediments to yeah. create, like, just like an image in the sky. And, and like, they're gonna, we're gonna, around. We're going to introduce sedimentary rock men, an ingenious rock men, and the other one that I forget. Uh, oh, my God. What's the other one? Sedimentary, ingenious rocks. That's that, a rock. Those are obsidian, and, and we'll never know the last. All right. Here we go. Jojo Land. Metamorphic. Uh, metamorphic. Great danger reigns from above. Sick. The Hustle Part 2. Don't cool. forget JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Phantom Blood, the musical, February 6th. We, we oh, will yeah. missed it. We will Don't be there it. no matter what, even though we already missed it. <laughs> even though, yeah. Pull the wound. Hurry. 
Slide it outside, smooth operators. Oh. We're getting the wine from earlier. Uh, ah, we're moving it to the wine. What the oh. fuck? Oh, these. She's moving it to the wine. He. Uh, Dragon is a he. He, yes. He, these he, these he. stands are crazy. That's so sick. Okay. Oh, oh you're gonna attack! Diggle! Ooh, ooh, you're okay, Dragon John. Thank goodness I. I Oh, geez, I'm freak just so freaking glad you're okay. I just felt a sense of despair wash over me like I was to lose everything that made me realize so something really important. Dracona John, when I came on this trip to the to the island of Hawaii, I finally came to understand this feeling welling up inside my chest. I realized I'm in love with you. Okay. Brother, now is not, not the time. Now uh, is really not the time. Thanks, but we siblings aren't particularly interested in that. Asexual <laughs> siblings. More importantly, that guy swiped the lava rock. Don't let him get away. We came to this island to make money. Yo, we're hustlers. And then this is probably uh, Jodio. Probably, I think it's Paco, uh, Paco based on the next panel. That's Dragona's brooch on the ground over there. We can't we can't tell this guy apart from a bird or a cloud. He he screws up everything with the, your depth perception and your perspective. He can fuse with shit. We don't even know. If he's walking on the ground. Go, 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 go. Dragona Chan? That guy was carrying a big knife. If we can detect that metal, we can track him. Tell the Matsu Mare Kudase you want that. I can't Here believe Araki's go. remembering all the rules that he's setting up. It was his own characteristic. Yeah. Say, I want the metal detector. That's sick. Uh, oh, take a look at that. Looks like Jodio hurt that guy's leg with his oh, ring. That's, 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 that's Paco. probably Usagi. It's probably oh, Paco, yeah. Uh, it's probably Paco. Yeah. He's bleeding, and it left a trail. Huh? Um, really? There like we go. The trail. Sick. So I'll point out the trail is here, then already yeah. there, then here. Yeah. So there's an illusion of depth perception in, in some way. Go like I feel like this this strand should be in the middle with yeah. the rest of the strand. But yeah. then why would this part be an illusion? So I guess because it's... during his escape he walked over to the right and bought a juice and then he went back with his mm, escape. True, true. He needed he a, canes. a canes lemonade. Just yeah. Like me. <laughs> yeah. What if I get canes tonight? Who? Uh, what the hell? He probably this guy is probably won't be relevant for too long. <laughs> When I touch his skin, it was gritty like sand or some shit. Hell, I'm going to get him. But that's the way to tell which one he is. This guy ain't him. <laughs> get -oh -oh. What the hell, man? I'm reporting that to the police. Nerd. Rocky is just taking the go-go-go stamp and just putting that shit everywhere now. Like it, I feel like it's been on every panel. The, but we noticed the blood. The blood is yeah. on top of the car. Jodio is just fucking there. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, I guess that that, that is the real Jodio. He was standing here before. Mm-hmm. This is Joe. Whoa! Don't go sticking your fingers in weird places on my ass, okay? Uh, that's actually the girl. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Don't go sticking your fingers in weird places on my ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this really is Joshu. It really is. Uh, yeah. Oh dear, that was only because you hadn't put any sunscreen there. You gotta be thorough or your skin will get blotchy. Okay, time to take me snorkeling. That is her. She's the one figuring his ass. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought. Oh, okay. Jodio <laughs> says, rock. And then Paco goes, paper. <laughs> that's their sign uh, that we're gonna hey, fuck you guys. You guys stand there. Just look at the clouds over there. What? You block the dang car. It's getting dark soon. Moving, moving, moving. You hear me, morons? I said, get out of the way. <laughs> Your throat. What's going on here? Your skin's all sticky from the sunscreen. Plus, there's that beard. Oh, I know. Here's what we'll do with you. Stick your right ankle out the door and show it to me. Got it? Tell your girlfriend to do it, too. If she even is your girlfriend. Both of you, show us your ankles so we can see if they're injured or not. Uh, what a weird fetish. He's going to he's gonna see if they have the VFD tattoo from Series of Unfortunate Events. Yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> and uh, even yeah. just opening the door, the door, Jodio's like, hold on. But the, yeah, the door, is, the door is Sandy. The door is the man. What the fuck? 
fucking the, the door. The door was the guy? <laughs> and he's got two faces here. This this guy yeah. is fucking sick. Sand. What? Ah! Kia! He kicked the hold woman on, away. Hold on, But what's, because... what's with Jodeo's he... arm? Um... What indeed? At first I was like, that's not his arm, but I'm like, no, that's his arm. No, Here, I here's what's happening. So... He's grabbing the arm when he saw the knife. And then he's kicking the yeah. woman away. Yeah, so she doesn't get slapped. So she doesn't get slapped from this slash, and then he lets yeah. the slash yeah. go through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh rare, rare, nice Jodeo moment. Shattering, uh -huh. everyone's freaked out. The knife's looking pretty big. The door. He's fused with the with the door there. November red. Oh. Hey, Axel. What the hell are you doing to my girlfriend? What are you, what are you doing to my car window? Uh, where? Uh, where is he? He disappeared again. You shitty brats! How dare you? How dare you? You touched my girlfriend. You just kicked her, did you? Jeez, would you shut? Would you just shut up? I'll give you a real injury if you complain about it. If you don't pipe down, you're in our way. Get lost. There's no sign of the blood from his. There's no sign of the blood dripping from his ankle anywhere now. This is bad. We can't tell him apart from the scenery. Where is he? We totally lost him. The watch is moving the same way it moved in the store. Yeah. Girl. Well, that's you. Oh, that's my watch. <laughs> Your watch. You're kicking him. Ooh. That's you, Bradley. That whole deal made it fall off my wrist. Be careful. Ah, you kicked <laughs> it. The watch. I see. He has the stone now. So yeah, this valuable is item oh. is being willed its way towards the user. So the stone's going to give him away. Unless he leaves the stone somewhere as a trap, which is a very JoJo-like thing mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Did you go to time? Oh, shit. Look what's in the, over in the direction over there. The watch is moving. Oh, there you. Oh, that's that's you, Bradley. It's probably the guy. Well, there you go again. I said, don't kick it. Oh, what are you even doing, you idiot? Just calm down and pick it up. Oh, that's eighty thousand oh, dollars, and it's a watch. Uh, it's not okay. running away from you. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. It kind of looks like it's running away. Is that watch trying to return to the lava rock? The beach. That guy must have run towards, run off towards the beach. Grabbing the diamond, Go. and now we're gonna use the diamond to track him down. Yeah, like a like a magnet sort of thing. It started yeah. rolling. The diamond is trying to go back to it too, in a meandering sort of way. The diamond is rolling that way too. There, let's head down, down to the beach. Okay. Beach. People are oh, dude. There is so much going on in this screen. There's so I many ways. Like he could be the flamingo beneath this girl's legs. He could be a parasail. It's all seaweed and clouds over here. But, 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 but seawater. There's gotta mean he's swimming. Seawater, you're right. Yeah. That's got. That's gotta mean he's swimming in the water, right? He he might be trying to escape out in the open sea. How are we gonna find him now? No, it might not be possible for us to find him now, but we can still corner him. We just need to get him to attack us. Mm -hmm. mm. If the enemy is running away with the lava rock, then he's going to have to. Christ's sake, this scum sucker. So he's peeking at us from a hiding place somewhere on this beach. I'm going to kill that asshole. It moved to the left. It It's kind of sort of in that direction, I think. But he should be able to, he should be to the left right now. Make sure you hold on to that thing tight. That thing's six million dollars. Don't drop it in the, in the water. Jodeo, your rain. What's its attack range again? November rain's range is a three meter radius and a height of four meters. But it can only rain on the water's surface. It can't dive in deep. Hmm. Oh, oh I see. interesting. Okay, first let's check those rubber rafts. I'll get him to show... I'll, I'll get him to show if he... I'll get him if he shows his ugly mug. So that was a rough one. three three meters feels like a little bit above what we saw on the other page, but maybe not. Three meters is a little long. It's it's almost ten feet. No, it's, yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's ten three to, yards. It's, it's ten to twelve feet or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's close to ten feet. Yeah. On the raft. Dragona John, listen. Uh, 
Paco said this guy isn't a mafia, but this guy is seriously dangerous. Like, don't know what the hell he's up. He is to start off with, but he's cold blooded and he doesn't hesitate. He's seriously a tough guy. I don't think Paco and Jodia know what they're about. They're talking about here. This guy seems way too high level for folks like us. Usagi, we're thieves who came here to make money. From society's perspective, <laughs> we're losers. But what matters the most is this movement. Is this moment? I'm sure even our enemy is in a frantic state right now, but we'll come out on top. In the end, I know it. If we let our fears get the best of us at the last moment and lose everything, it'll haunt us. Even after we get back to our homes on Oahu, we'll be thinking, oh, if only I'd done this or that forever. That's that. what's really dangerous. I, I like this uh, perspective where Usagi's like, oh, like this guy's like a real criminal. Like we can't, we can't possibly keep up. And Dragona's like, yeah. like you, you realize he's probably just a guy like us who is just, a normal person who wanted to get money. Like, they're not out of our league. We can do this. Yeah. And here, Dragona is also saying, like, we're the losers, but we came here to make a score, and, like, we need to rise up from being a loser, and, and this is the moment. This this is, like, a pivotal moment yeah. where yeah. if we don't clutch it right now, we're going to be losers forever. <laughs> oh, he's the wave. This is giving me a... Uh, the wave. Part, no, he's the, part seven he's, finale of He's lives. the raft. Oh, no, uh, he is the wave. He's right. the wave right. crashing on the raft. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's here, right in front of us inside the wave. Wave? Where? That splash, he's inside the water spray. He's forming, forming, and he slashes at Paco's leg. And then he's like, striking oh. again, it looks like. Like he slashes from the bottom and then gets up and attacks again, maybe? He's trying an OTG. Paco! Oh? God, oh. You got him. Got him. Uh, who was got he again? Him. That's a uh, kid. Kid, back at the start. I was kind enough to give you a chance to give up on the lava rock. Uh, oh. They they wrestle. They go into the water. Now die. Okay. Do, they, do they wrestle or? It looks like uh, Joe, he knocks Jodia's head back and yeah. then he turns on him. Yeah, he does yeah. a head butt and then turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's fucked. November oh, rain. He's, oh, because he's, he's out of the water now. Yeah. He, he got ulted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're underwater. A Rocky is notoriously bad for doing underwater and underground uh, combat visually. I feel like it gets so crazy. His knife broke. Jodio! He just broke the blade of that knife. D -d Did he win? It looks like he broke it, but November rain can only strike the surface of the sea it doesn't work deeper into it oh, and you can see the water <laughs> droplets That's ah. oh dude this is fucking invisible water fight jesus yeah i get ya what do you, what the hell do you mean yeah i get ya look at him he looks like this is a <laughs> he sees oh. what jody is doing which is the rain is also puncturing the raft the oh, raft is sinking it goes underwater uh huh. Okay. Uh, buddy boy notices it. Okay. What's Jody okay. looking here? The the rain is rippling off the surface, and Bro's yeah. freaking out for some reason. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? That rain's still pouring down. Yeah, it sure is lasting a while. But uh, that means he's okay down there, right? If the rain's still pouring down above, that means he's still alive down there. Astute. Yeah. Y yeah, th yeah, that's right. It's Jodio's stance, so that must be the case. And the enemy should be nearly drowned down there. Say, I've been thinking. That guy down there. I said I was going to kill him before, but I take that back. Let's make him one of us. What? Oh, Yo, we're recruiting? Okay. Oh, this would be sick. This guy like, is dope. If, like, if we're both going to not stop trying to kill each other over this lava rock and he's experienced, then, like, what if we just fucking team up? I get the impression uh -huh. that he's a pretty good guy. Guys, he said he's sorry. Like, his <laughs> knife wielding sucks ass. And I said before that he cut off the cat's head and showed them to Jodeo. But when I took a peek inside the bag after it fell on the ground earlier, it turned out that that was another one of his tricks. He just oh. uses his ability to make stuff look like the other stuff to threaten Jodio. That bet just had three potatoes in it. Oh. <laughs> so, so, 
So based on that, I think he he's keeping those three cat pets in the jungle. Huh? And it looks like that guy down there knows more about the characteristics of the lava rock than even that mangaka Kishibe Rohan knows. A rock you got halfway through this. A rock you got halfway through this chapter. Wait, this guy's kind of sick. What if we kept him around? And he's like, I like drawing this guy. Yeah. So we can make this a win-win situation for both of us. Dragona, let's team up. Tell your little brother not to let him drown. And then Chungo says, Yeah, snore, snore. Good old Chungo. Whoa, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's huge. Whoa, looks like it swallowed something. Oh, you're, oh, it's you. you're kidding me, right? There's no way. Just find it, you idiot. Don't call me an idiot. I'm the one who bought you, bought it for you, remember? Well, you are an idiot, aren't you? Who the hell kicks a luxury watch into the ocean? And and you can bet it wasn't waterproof. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of, I think I'm going to go. I'm feeling chilly all of a sudden. I'll catch a ride with somebody else. <gasps> You're kidding. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Okay, so what the I think fuck the is going thing. on underwater? <laughs> I yeah, think he's like, using ah. the raft. He punctured the raft and using the raft for air. Oh, he's trying to. This is actually sick. He's trying to outlast yeah. him and he's kind of holding the arm in. Okay, you, you can, can see. Yeah. Jodio turns his face towards the raft bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is a part one Joe Tur uh, uh, Jonathan move where he, uh, yeah. when he's like swimming with. Rudford or whatever, and he dr he breathes underwater. Once again, Usagi Usagi's the only one that's like, yeah, I get it, and he kicks the raft under. It's like literally saving his life. Uh, oh, he to... kicks it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He nudge. Oh my, Usagi's the MVP. <laughs> like... <laughs> and here we can see the struggle. He is holding him in place. Oh, we skipped this page entirely. No, I just don't, don't. I'll kill you, maybe. Maybe if you can keep breathing long enough too, we'll. we'll yeah, just... we didn't see. We didn't. I don't. Have I don't think, yeah. Okay. Good. Man, I like Usagi's. Yeah, I get you more now. Yeah. Jodio made the, the holes, and he's like, "Oh, okay." And he's I, like, I, I the, he's the one who noticed. It's like the rain's still going. What's up with that? Oh, knows, I, I yeah. get you. Usagi knows yeah, how yeah. JoJo fights are fought. Yeah. So like, yeah. He, he knows what we're trying to do. He's he just dressed like some idiot. That's and, and like I like this stalemate. It's like if you. If you go up, like, you, you could maybe you wrestle and go up, but you're going to get November rain. So you'd have to wrestle and go sideways, which will let me be all right either way. Yeah. And if you, and I'm going to hold on to you. So you're like, you're going to stay right here. Like, yeah. you can't go that far. Oh, um, man. Jojo... And he has to come up for air. So, like, potentially. Yeah, he's going to have to drop the knife and, and like, uh, and surrender. Yeah. Sick, and we're gonna make him an ally. Let's let's take a good Ooh. look at, at our new friend. Now, mm. what would be sick is we make him an ally and we get the three cats. Ooh. You know, they're they're his, and he spared them. Yeah, that makes a party. That makes like one of the most unique JoJo parties because we we have like three kitties that all have a stand between themselves, which is like a new Iggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cat's cradle, and the stand is Jolene's strings um yes so it's like these are this is a great set of stands um, oh yeah just like looking at what paco did in that cqc fight but then also like yeah november rain is also like it feels really cleverly used so far smooth operators mm -hmm. are healer but also like being able to transfer a cup wound to a bottle is sick like that that has so many applications mm -hmm. oh man we'll probably get some Something like it has to be like a similar object shape or something like that in order for it to move. Uh, a bottle, a bottle and a neck. No, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. it's like round. Because they're both two Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Ah, great. Three chapters. Fantastic. Awesome. We're so back. We're well, we've never been more back. I'm I'm <laughs> super into it. And the fact that he spared the cats. Yeah. That, that's that's. Because <laughs> I was like, we can't let the we can't let the new party member be a cat murderer. <laughs> Yeah. See, here's the I, thing. I, I, I thought this was a rock human, but I don't know. I think, uh, would a rock human have pet cats? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm, that's a good point. They're bad at, well, they're bad at making human connections, but maybe we're going to twist True. it. Because, like, uh, we have seen multiple um, rock humans have pets. 
at the very yeah. least. Yeah, like, that, would, per- that would be interesting for a party if it was a rock human. That would right? be that really would be cool. interesting. Because, like, we could humanize rock humans more because most of them were antagonists. And, like, they're not inherently yeah. bad. They're just more antisocial and just, th- th- just, than humans. They're- they're just misunderstood y'all my problem is i've been on so much one piece that the second they went underwater i was like no jody is not gonna be able to use the stand <laughs> jody <I'm... laughs> your devil fruit I'm... is gonna it's gonna kick on i was literally waiting for the man to come out and go like i'm a mirage barrage man <laughs> mirage barrage, yeah it, it, it is a bit one pc where like he's like yeah he's, he's got like a themed body power he's like a paramecia very much yeah so. But we'll see. I, I would like for him to be a rock human. I think that'd be cool. But I, I could also see that, like, maybe what we're going with is, like, a rock human wouldn't spare his pets. Because, like, G- Urban Gorilla and, uh... True. What's, what's, uh, what's the main villain that lame-ass, uh, from Part 8? No, yeah, well, the main villain's name, uh... Holy shit. Toru. Um... Toru, okay. Toru also just, like, uses his pets as, like... Well, I mean, yeah. he did use the cats as weapons as well, so maybe maybe that's still true. Mm-hmm. And and Roland Kishibe is gonna show up later and join our party as the high level like uh, mentor. Jotaro, and then we'll have yeah, a, he, yeah. he's the Jotaro. We'll, we'll have a party of six if that happens, which will be and, and three kitties, so that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think yeah, we yeah. said a lot as we were reading a lot of the thematic stuff of like the worth yeah. of, of something could be explored with this rock. Mm-hmm. Um, Cool Dragona, Usagi, and Jodeo moments. Actually, Next. and Paco, yeah. like Paco, especially last chapter, but like oh, yeah. all yeah. four of the main characters have gotten significant moments in just these two chapters, yeah. which I think is really this, good. This feels like a what I wanted part five to be more and more. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like how everything's operating. The characters are a lot less stoic. A lot of the part five characters are like yeah. pretty stoic when they're not doing like the exception is Narasha when he's doing his his gimmicks, but a lot of the time yeah. he's also pretty serious. So, yeah, I love how uh, Usagi and Dragona came out of the store, and Usagi's like, "What a fun adventure! Like we should cherish that moment <laughs> forever." And then literally the next chapter, like, "Look, I'm just gonna say it. I know motherfuckers are dying and shit, but I'm in love with you." <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me of him being like. Yeah, and then anyways, that's when my father died and we got the settlement. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he was hit by a bus. Your dad was hit by a bus? <laughs> Your dad was uh, that that other rock human that Surubi killed? Fucking wild. Uh, that would be wild if that was revealed that way, but I don't think that's... <laughs> well, Soggy's too much of a sweet cinnamon bun to be uh, yeah. to be a rock human. Once again, great cast of characters. Hell yeah. All fun to just, like, interact. I'm glad Paco got some good spotlight, too. Paco's fucking sick had... last chapter, yeah. He's, he's fucking yeah. pissed. He's like, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker when I see him. That dude was going, like, cure you with his beast mode, just, like, throwing chairs and shit at people. Dude, the... the knife... the, the, the punch into... chair throw into ripple punch is sick. Yeah. That is so cool. What, what a combo. Yeah. Um, and he's the one negotiating for Mr. Mirage to join the party. Yeah, so, like, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is going to have big ripples, pun, I guess pun not mm-hmm. intended, um, throughout the part if it goes through. I, this guy seems like, I don't know, he's too ugly to be a JoJo party member, but I'm, I'm kind of with it. Like, he'll get a redesign. He'll get something like... Yeah, he'll, he'll look real pretty soon. Uh, yeah. Um, but I do feel like halfway through this chapter, Rock, like I kind of like this guy's ability. Dude, uh, you can tell he loves drawing this guy. Like he's oh, cooking yeah. with the, with the illustrations here. Man, yeah. good luck uh, illustrating or not illustrating, yeah. animating this power. Anime. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're not gonna be able to do it they're the not. same way. No way. Like look at look at the moving at parts guy. here. Like this is insanity. Maybe they could do this it with some cool. smart filters. Where like yeah. yeah. Like what they do in Chowder, where like the textures move behind the yeah, background. I was, and I, 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 yeah. I was just thinking about that. It could be some yeah. trippy effect. They could. And yeah. it, it'll it'll it won't look the same, but it'll look cool if they do that. Anywho, I think that's good for today, guys. We this was great. Yeah. Will Joe Dio yeah. and his mom eat chicken burritos for dinner? Find out next time. Man. Maybe, mom, I'm gonna have four guests. <laughs> yeah. Five even. Yeah. Well, I guess it'll be four. All right, well, and also, Dragona is not a guess, but I definitely do hear from there. Uh, cool, we'll catch you guys in two to three months, as we do. Hell yeah. Yep. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.